time, man, if I don't even work your social media like that. Every time somebody come, we got a fucking fuss, bro. Every time. Every fucking time. You know That's not what we're going to do. We're going to go back. I'm not doing that. commercial break, and when we get back, we're going to wrap this up. So you want to cut me off, right? Corey, you just gonna have to watch your butt, baby. You do this shit every time. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 no, please. That shit that I knew when bitch was having a seizure, and that shit ain't go right. You, don't you know what I'm about? I thought she was about to do it. Go ahead. Look, I didn't know. Yeah. I'm gonna call you back. I'm just, I'm gonna call you back. Get, get the truck, let's go. Let's go. We get this bitch, let's go. <laughs> People with the cheap shirts and shit that shit that say melanin magic and all that, Popeye's not stopping your business. You are. Okay? So to you people that's using Popeye's excuse for your business, not to get a head, shame on you. Nobody been nobody been buying a melanin. Welcome to Couch Talk Nola, episode 23, you heard me? 23. We got the goddamn yacht, yes, you we heard do. me? And we got J Styles in the building. AKA yeah. the man for sunset. Season three to be exact. Saturdays. You heard me? So no, so lit Saturdays. So, so lit, we yeah. change it up. See, that's when you know we go back. You know, yeah. that's, uh, that's all I'm saying. Go way back and when that event started the first man. time. You heard me. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling good. Happy to be here, man. Of course you are. You on the yacht. She just mad because her corner store don't take EBT no more. Boy, you, you see, I've been asking somebody for some EBT. Mm -hmm. She mad, you heard me, because her corner store don't take EBT That's for hot plates. You heard me? EBT, fuck. Oh, man, so, man, tell us about, man, the, the resurrection of Solid Saturdays, you know? Which was originally Sunset, Sunset Saturdays. Saturday. So, <laughs> how you came up you with know, Sunset it's, Saturdays? It's lit now. It's lit now. Ah, uh, they dig it. <laughs> so, man, uh, I started Sunset Saturdays, you know, um, really around my guitars. Drew the guitar, shout out to Drew. What's up, Drew? Yeah, What's you already know. You, know. Um, you gotta whip that bitch again. What's that one? Drew, love guitars, you hear me? Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, Motherfucker can barely say guitar. You play the guitar. Go ahead, Drew. Yeah. Man, I was working in Township, though, you know. Downtown, it was something that really wasn't wasn't benefiting, you know, me, my spirit. You know, I was making two, three thousand dollars a week, but you know, I wasn't really doing my music. I wait, wait, a, wait, a fuck oh, wait, God, they got armor trucks. Oh, okay. What you were saying? No, sir? go ahead. Okay. What you got? No, you you just, what I'm just saying. Made me really just feel <laughs> that I feel in poverty. Yeah, look, that money. <laughs> hey, look, that money, yeah. fast as that money can't pour, that money went. Busting my ass on that truck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do me that, Paul. But, man, look, I, man, I decided I was like, I'm going to do something different. I want, wanted something that, that can basically, you know, elevate my career as an artist. So, right. I looked at Jimmy Clubber, that's somebody I always looked up to. I seen him bartending. Good guy. So, you Good know, guy. shout out to Jimmy Clubber. Very man. humble guy. You know, One of the best artists I know, lyricist. Talented. Talented, bartender, mixologist, everything. Um, mm -hmm. I want to follow you know, his footsteps. Just to put some, some emphasis on Jimmy Clubber, the thing that I like the most about him is he's very dedicated to anything that he does. But it's bartender photography. What he got so many cats that that is right. ridiculous. But right. dream big, work hard. Legendary mm -hmm. gentleman. But you know, go ahead on it. Let's hear what's going on. What but yeah, man. Three thousand dollars. I'm gonna break you up with yeah, three dollars. I got you. Man. Three dollars, you know. Got you. That is more like five. <laughs> what you want? Look, she about to get our money together like I do want in. I saw it in her spirit. Okay, <laughs> look. Okay. I said I want to do something, you know, my next career move. I want to do something that, that, that caters to me as an artist. I looked at Jimmy. I followed his blueprints, footsteps. You know, I became a bartender. 
Um, I went and bought that at three pumps. That's how okay. I, you know, I ended up, you know, getting in that space. <coughs> so then I, you know, when I met with the owner, I told him, look, you give me a space where I can build my own event up, start building other people's events up, and let me build myself up so I can, you know, really take control of myself and other artists that really need a, a platform. So I started so I said Saturdays. It was well, real. Gonna take a, I don't want to cut you off, but I just want to take a brief moment. That's Couch Talk fucking Education and Networking, but go ahead. That you, you when you fucking talked about how you went through the boss and all that, oh, that's yeah, never, you know. Yeah. Hey, look, you know, got to school for living. See, give me the he's, he's, so, he's so he's so clutch. You don't even know what he's doing. He's so smooth. Okay. <laughs> so I started uh, started the event. It was a little rocky at first. I didn't want to give up on it. I I, I just basically kept pushing. Um, I pulled in DJ Strategy. Um, he basically helped out with the movement of it. It was a success. Um, I ended up stopped working at at the place, you know, for certain reasons. I let the event go for about a month or two months. Um, I had so many artists in the city literally hit me up. When am I gonna start back? And you know, it was kind of, kind of, for me, it was a tough situation because I just had ended a job. I just started another job and I just ended that as well. So now it's like, what do I do now? And I came to the decision where I wanted to be all in on my music. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know, even people that's closest to me. I've been without an actual job for about six months. I took a risk, went all in, started doing events, and that's literally the only thing I was doing. You put all bets on you. Right, and everybody around me. <coughs> but um, when I wanted to start it back, I was real cautious about the venue. I wanted somewhere where it could be consistent and long term, something that can really benefit the audience. So I met Nat uh, with my business partner, Sierra Tacos. Y'all give it up for Sierra, you hear me? Follow him on the ground. That's her real last name? No, Sierra Tacos. Sierra Tacos, I'm sorry. Sierra Tacos. That's my tacos? business partner. No, that's what him. I'm saying. Him. You know, we eat. Oh, oh he made okay. Creole Tacos. Look, y'all oh, okay. want some tacos? Matter of fact, we're November 9th at Culture Park. I believe it's 12 to 7. We're going to have a uh, urban food <laughs> fest. Oh, so yeah, food. we're there. We have a bunch of different yeah. food you vendors. You know, when we say we're types. there, we're there, right? We're yeah. there. We don't just Culture sit. Culture Park, 3000 yeah. Franklin Ave, 12 to 7, November 9th. So, look, Long Star Shark, Bar Culture, NOLA, y'all can follow them as well. They basically took me in. Um, they got the hookah in the back, huh? Yeah, they got the hookers yeah, in the and back Jesus in the blue name room. They do. Yes, nah, they do. Look, it's lit. Shout out to Nat and Nick Reed. They've been really <laughs> supportive. Um, so I changed it up a little bit. The reason why it's so late instead of sunset, previous venue I was at, they basically called two days before. They called the venue I was at and threatened to, uh, to basically sue or whatever because they said they trademarked my name for Sunset Saturday. Wait, so you came up with the name Sunset Saturday, right? And they trademarked your shit. All right, supposedly they tried to. Right. So, so it's very important to have those things in black and exactly. white. Exactly. If you're an artist, right. like, if you're somebody <laughs> doing something in the city, like, even if even if you don't really have full control, it's not your venue, it's like get everything black and white. No even if way. you don't think it's big enough, it's that getting big. Right. Just have that your paperwork together. Right. No that legal zone right. knocked down. Mm. So no because no I, you know, because out of respect part for the artists, you know, I love my artists, I love my DJ, I love I, I love people time that they give me. So two days before, it wasn't enough time for me to cancel. I could have, I did it before, but I, I really had a lot of respect in the time and the, the promotion that the artist was doing. So I made a decision to, I spent all night, I, I came up with about 20 names and then I decided to go with So Lit. Um, it was actually, I felt like it actually happened for a reason though. I, like I told Paul, I was able to market it differently. Um, Sunset was more of an outside event. So I feel like this is actually, the evolution of Sunset to So Lit. Um, I actually right. got some shirts coming out. I'm not even gonna say with the name or any really details. Just know that the So Lit team, which we have about 30, 40 artists that goes through this event, it's a full team. We do take outside guest mm -hmm. performance, but okay. this is strictly for now for those artists that gave me their time, their dedication, and helped me build this up. I wanna do something different to where they're a part of it and if they help me build it up, they're helping themselves because they're in a constant small. rotation. So it it's protects them yeah. by I can't force them. You know, I'm not. They're not building up my event, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get new artists. So I wanted to show them, hey, I'm actually supporting y'all just as much as y'all supporting me. Because you provided a platform. 
Right. You know so saying? not only that, I'm, I've been like an activist kind of for the past two years, even though I haven't really helped too many artists get paid, just by me being in that mindset so much, you know, trying sure. to show people that you can. Not to stop you, but like to get this straight, you've been uh, the activist, Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, the all the, the, I'm just saying, you know, all this shit, you've been Rosa Polk, you, you've been everything yeah, right now. Activist, right yeah, activist. I wanna, that's what I'm saying. And mm -hmm. he's only, you are a young oh. baby. You are a very young oh, man. You like 25? What are you? See the little baby. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Super. See, this one ain't one color. This I'm is exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, I'm saying, put that out, the, the, you know, the, you it's, everybody, it's, but it's, a, it's amazing how young he is and he has his head on straight, just like Andre 3000, you know, what, 3000. So now watch this. We got a little wisdom on us, don't make everybody a baby. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out on, shout out to the Henny, shout out to the Henny, shout out to the fucking Henny. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Yeah. So how, how long was Sunset Saturdays a thing? Sunset, uh, Sunset was about a good six months. 46 months that we actually did that. That was actually every week. Um, what week uh, comes a lot. Right. So for anybody out there that was, you know, following that event or, you know, thinking that you need money to do everything, like I really tried to build everything I did off of support. Um, with that event, basically, with the artist, I pulled in um, MPGTE. He basically works um, with showing artists how to use all 46 revenue streams. So the service using I think it's about 20, 25 artists. I basically give it to my artist by partnering with him and I bought bringing him on the team for five dollars. It literally teaches them how to access all 46 revenue streams. So mm -hmm. out of New Orleans, it's only 20,000 people registered. 2,000 registered properly with BMI as cap. Out of that, we make a billion dollars in sales in New Orleans. If we could show more artists a way that they can actually, you know, generate money using their music they already got out. When do I well, sign? That's some numbers for that ass. So oh, now, so now, wait before you before you go, Paul. I just want to let everybody know. Every no, one of those, every we one of those. So look, <laughs> every How one of. Where are you going? Girl, I kind of ain't going. I'm no, just playing. <laughs> so look, for anybody listening, so lit Saturdays. These artists do not pay to get on this platform. This event is strictly about support. We are right. doing a thing where we want to get. Uh, we do take donations and we try to get at least um, a portion of the money that we do for with MPGTE to basically go towards paid marketing and to go towards things to promote them. So basically everything that we yeah. do for, for the artists, I think it's five, ten dollars as far as promoting for the artists, as far as helping them access their revenue stream, showing them information. So no money actually goes to basically us or goes towards anybody else in the, in the event. It's basically all and towards the audience. that being said, we're going to come right back from okay. a brief intermission. Telling my man AJ that my sister is a nun. Why you know, yeah, hey, AJ, huh? Got a new nickname. Yeah, that's your name, Call AJ. Name, I'm drunk. AJ. I called you. I fucked up his name because I'm drunk. Yeah, but you I know, got a new name. Okay. Yeah, he, he's on the yacht. I'm fucking yeah. with it. Lot. They fucking with it. You know, so tell, tell, tell us what and what's and inspired you because you're an artist yourself, right? Right. Okay. What, rap, what, what inspired you to become an artist? Don't do you play the guitar? Yeah, so you know. Yeah, I do. I, I try to do a That's lot. All I'm uh, saying, you know. Man, what inspired me? Man, when I started music, Katrina. I mean, it go way back. Um, I remember I was in a hotel room in Texas. Um, I seen all the, you know, all the news, all the stories. I was really young, like seventh grade, going to eighth grade. Didn't really know what's going on. I remember this day like nothing else. I'm sitting in the red chair in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing the world premiere of Chris Brown's song, Run It, Come On. Oh, yeah. And when I seen it, it was just like, oh, this is different. That was when he was healthy. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna speak on it. Shout out, Chris. Mm -hmm. All out. Breeze A, okay. You know, yer. Yeah. But, um, man, when I seen it, I was just like, okay. I just fell in love with it. I never really heard that type of music. You know, my parents was, you know, 
not sheltering, but they made sure, you know, we listen to something positive or whatever they try to, you know, you already know how mm-hmm. it is. Um, but when I heard that, it was just like it was different. It was it was motivational. I needed something at that time in my life, you know. I didn't know if my family was okay, friends okay. What? You sipping? That look like a single cup. Single cup means they don't have no alcohol. They got Henny in there. I double back from time to time. Man, look. That's I'm a progressive drinker. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I hope you caught that. So when I say Chris, I start, you know. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sir. How you gonna point me out like that? We're supposed to be here. Because you, know you always do you that shit. No, when I'm, no, when no, I'm no, drinking, no, I don't want to hear it. Go back over, sir. Do you see? Oh, no, 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 because I'm no, 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 fucking no, up. No, 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 come back over here. So, like I'm saying, let me tell you. Every time, if I want to fucking drink, when I want to drink, no, I'm gonna finish this. I'm not drinking. Fuck no. That's velvet. No, no, I'm saying this is my fucking velvet. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna finish. We are back on the air because we gotta finish this shit. I'm not doing this. You have to. something on television you know what you saw what happened saw chris brown run it run it let me drop in the pringles yeah i was and stuff i saw chris on tv you know run it it was planned Mm -hmm. i was inspired Mm -hmm. when i got back you know after after cleaning up and you know living in the fema trailer for two months after that when we finally got back i found comfort in writing i used to write it was really started, you know, to release pain. I used to write about my biological mother, the pain I felt from that. Um, just really, it was more of a release. Then I met some teachers from Teach for America in middle school, going to high school. I started writing slam poetry. I was introduced to that. And it is basically poetry. Kept building, kept building. Poetry was the foundation of mm-hmm. really everything I do. Um, my teacher, Miss Carriage, Abby Carriage, Teach for America. I remember she bought a, a poet in, and it was just something I never. Imagine, could imagine. So I wrote a poem called Fuck America, KKK. Oh, you got a um, piece of that you can right. recite? <coughs> yeah, inquiry minds. My nation is falling and times are being tested. Hunger is our only source of friendship. Intervention was supposed to be the key to success, but the government intervened and pushed my limit to the test. My people are dying on the corner one by one. How is it that you know so much about me? My credit score, my race, my color, how much is in my bank account, but you can't then remember how much I'm supposed to get paid or the fucked up tax system never seems to fade away. Obama got elected into the White House, he goes, you refer to him in reference to the white man as a black man, a black man can't do much you say. Or maybe we should refer to him as white man because his middle name is Hussein. Damn, my name is Reverend Wright and I represent Obama and fuck America K. Okay. Oh, okay. No fingerprints, no fingerprints, Paul. Huh? No fingerprints. You got a snap. No fingerprints. No fingerprints. Well, <laughs> I love that real. shit. But I wrote that back in um uh, in high school <laughs> a little bit. Added a bomb in there. Uh, keep it relevant. Uh, all this keep your music relevant. Old music, it ain't a waste. Just make it relevant. Um, but I wrote it. The school tried to ban it. They tried to take it off of YouTube. You serious? It, flipped. it look every look. You <laughs> tried to use it on YouTube. Nah, that this was something different, but it was it was they they tried back in the day. I guess it was too much profanity in it or whatever. I don't know. Oh, how that, how that works. Oh, we're hating to the people. You know, you know, yes. you know. If you want it, yeah, it was <laughs> facts. But oh, um, we hate. it actually turned into uh, the principal. Uh, you know, I let her hear it. Let a couple teachers hear it. That was really poetry lovers, and they understood the deeper concept uh, concept behind it. So that's why it was pulled. They, they pulled it because it was something that was speaking wisdom into. The minority community right. and shit like that. They don't want that. Right. They now don't le- want people right. to be woke. Right. Now, luckily, I had one person <laughs> in that school that actually was on my side, on my team of, with my whole movement, you know, and they actually let me end up, it actually switched to where they actually let me go to class in the classroom and perform it in front of uh, all the rest of the students. They didn't censor me. They let me have my freedom of speech like I wanted. So it was all good. That's really how J Styles really started. So who else would you consider someone, you know, to be an influencer in your life besides like 
Chris Brown would you consider like a Tupac? So you know some legendary. Do you have a top so, five? Oh yeah. So <laughs> automatically, <laughs> I mean, if you say Tupac, you say anybody like like. This is just my pick, you know. Tupac, mm -hmm. Biggie, yeah, of course. Um, really, I'm really a big fan of Big Crit. Um, okay, Kendrick genius. Lamar, Russ, just in the <coughs> Like, it's a couple of different people I really took. Um, local, Jimmy Clover, that's literally oh, one yeah. of my favorite artists. Like, yes, she yes. I literally changed my whole lifestyle, <coughs> literally, following this man. <coughs> so, I mean, definitely got a big part. Yes. Um, in Southside, I'll be signed. So look, check this out. Check this out. Two of my real favorite artists down here in the city, Daniel Hardaway, Southside Ali Sign. Um, that's literally how I created Chakra Zones. That event, I created an event group. So all three of us performed at Chakra Zones. That was basically a platform I created when I was at Three Palms for Sunset. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want to create a group with y'all. Y'all inspired me. I love y'all. I love our, our music. I want to create a way. So I created Chakra Zones. And that basically, even though it hasn't blown up how I really want it, it still kept kept me motivated and basically still instilled in me to trust the process. One of my events, you know, I'm a realist. I don't care. I speak the truth. One of my events take off to where I have 70, 80 people in it. One of them is about 20, 30 people or even less sometimes. But we still make sure we perform as if it was packed just for the culture. And I was just about to get to that because whether there's motherfucking one person. <laughs> Right. Or you performing like Ja Rule in front of them empty fucking seats. Mm, right. You supposed to. Yeah. You supposed You see how you get caught in my thing? That's you. all I'm saying. Whether it's, it's in front fucking empty seats, you supposed to perform that bitch. No, no, no. That's all I'm saying. You supposed to perform that bitch like it's a right. full fucking right. house every time. Right. Mm -hmm. Because right. you can use that as practice right. to get better. I can't you know get on. Saying? I can't get on that. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot get on stage and not lose myself. You know, people always ask me like, "You, you, you caught yourself. something?" Like, I lose myself. I black out most of the time. Like, even with my anxiety, like my music is so important to me. Even my fears don't even dictate my music, and they can't even stop. Like, I have the, the worst anxiety ever. Now hold up. Now you just didn't spark something. Yeah, so that's that's I can tell you one thing about anxiety. Oh yeah, like I is fucking. Ugh, let me tell you, I, I suffer from bad anxiety. People will never, never know, cause I, I keep it inside and I deal with it internally. I and never let Paul, you know. is he reading from the book of us? <laughs> Dog, I get it so bad. My, my okay. why, my why is more important than my fears. You know, yeah. like. I really want to do what I want to do as far as my music and my events. Why the fuck, are you always crying. You crying no. again? Okay, go ahead. You crying? I don't want to make you cry again. Yeah, you make me cry. You, you, Man, talk uh, the culture, you touch the culture, Paul, the culture, Paul, the culture. Like, my whole family is in Atlanta, bro. They've been there since, like, 2011, 12. Like, I've been out here by myself. I literally said to my, I made a promise to myself a long time ago that I wanted to do music, that I'd do my music and be successful at it for my grandma that passed, R.I.P. Donna, and that I would help right. to bring that culture back to the city, you know, in any type of way. Like, I'll never sacrifice my music. Y'all know I write music for, for artists. 500 songs in my in my phone right now. Wait, so you ghostwriting? Yeah, but I would never give my uh, my music. I even say it in my song, I'll never sell my, my music to a fake soul. Like, I would never. Even if I write music, like when I write music for females or, or, or males, which is mostly females I write for, I ask them key points. What do you want your music to, how do you want your music to reach people when it's delivered? What do you want your song about? And I get a backstory and I, and I make sure that I ask what, ask them key words that they will put in music. And I literally, it's like they write their own song. It's basically I put in the words for them that oh, yeah, it's they, easily they translated. Yeah. So when I write music, it's not, oh, I write this, I'm trying to write the best song. I literally try to cater and put as much feeling, even for other artists that I write for, to put as much as them into it as possible. I'm not trying to put me into my music, so that's why I feel like a lot of more, you know, a lot of more writers should really try to focus on. But nah, not a ghost writer per se, because I ain't selling my stuff to no fake artists. I'm sorry, y'all feel you. I know my value, my my writing, you know. Y'all know. Y I'm I'm trying to see how we can come to Soul Soul Saturday. Like, yeah, yeah, it? you the you, 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 you doing any guest hosts? Uh, any guest hosting? Y'all want to guess how you a guest hosting? Yeah. So like, how about this? Stop, you know, I can, you know, we're a guest hosting. Guess who? Yeah. Y'all want to see Couch Talk and all the guess hosts? 
Y'all make sure y'all catch Couch Talk and all the guest hosting at So Lit Saturdays. The date is coming yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, it's going to be on the screen at the it's bottom. It's going to be like right here in the right yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, we're the bottom. Shit. You know, we'll let y'all know when we, when we guest host and stuff. So yeah. Lit Saturdays at Bar Culture. You know? It's going to be, so this one is going to be October 19th, which is 14 days after 19th. Oh, you I have no idea. Like I would never say that, Matt. I can't it tell you. Yeah, you know, we look, I just made 32. Okay. Yeah. Sasa B's triangle. We don't too much. Blame it on the head. X axis. We be right back, and we we're going to come back. back with the third half, and we're going to take until close. Kyle Stark Nola, episode 23. What's bang, best bang? bang. Yeah, you know I mean? Hell no. Absolutely not. Let's just float till we reach our ascendance. Fuck the destination. Look around, this is amazing. Frustrated when granted is taken. You want this, but not what it takes to make it. No perfect you exist, time you is wasting. Too many daydreams, reality is shaking. I can't take it, you've been faking. My time is sick and I'm tired of waiting. Time you wasting, pointless conversations. Energy is draining, I love you, but I hate it. Fuck the destination, look around, this is amazing. Can you feel it? Fuck the destination, look around, this is amazing. Whoa, we are back. Whoa. You heard me? Episode 23, season 3. We she got J work. Styles in the building. I've been saying AJ Styles because I'm fucking drunk. Yeah, yeah, that's a wrestler. It's okay. I know what you're talking about. That's a wrestler, AJ no, Styles. I've been calling the man AJ Styles. <laughs> <laughs> and he put the DDP on your ass when he be at, at, on that fucking stage. That's, you hear me? That's DDT. Fuck baby. that. That's DDT. Not DDT. DDT. DDP is Diamond no, Dallas no, Cage. That's, that's a wrestler what, listen, too. He, guess what I'm saying? He put that DDP on. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's all I'm saying. Sipping on a yacht. You know? So, man, tell me, what do we have to look forward to you and your artistry? Because at a very young age, you seem like you've already contributed a lot. And I really appreciate that you created this platform, nerve for artists to thrive, you know? And sort of like us, we're trying to create a platform that artists right. can come and be themselves and just drive the yacht. Yeah. You heard me, and just snack on, and you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. keep them on. Or oh, even if they um start off with the little boot, with the little vest, like you know, cord with the cake through the little. <laughs> that That's was all funny I'm saying. Through the little thing, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start back, somewhere. Back, back, back. So man, yeah, what do what do we have to look forward to? Man, so you know, tomorrow, so this Saturday is the nineteenth. Um, our next one is gonna be at Bar Culture. That's gonna be November second. Five to nine. Right. So, as far as my music, I'm actually working on an EP. Um, my producer actually wants to turn it into an album because he thinks it's that great. Um, so, we in the process of really discussing the specifics of that. Um, I do work with an artist. Um, I actually manage her. Her name is Darian Marie. Okay. I'm gonna follow on IG. It's Darian Marie. Um, she definitely is about to come out with a couple projects. Um, my song is actually called Nola, it's called Culture of Nola. Um, and man, like, I'm just really excited. I'm about to do a lot of stuff with my music, come out with a lot of stuff. A lot of people in the city don't even know I never have dropped one song. I'm known all around the city for throwing my art, being an artist. I have plenty of songs, wrote plenty of songs, but I never actually released one song. You and then me singing like a fucking bird on you Insta. Never released a song, and so you don't have any songs on the platform, any platform. But look, he be singing like a bird on on fucking Insta with the lights low and, and the guitar, so, yeah. and he just be singing like a fucking Miguel on there, mm, you know. That I know girl. that's all I'm oh, saying. Twenty seven. So it was he got all his life ahead of him. You see that? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Look at our old ass. We almost out of here. Boy, this is yeah, sad. Yeah, no, you got still no, got yeah. little youth on you on your side. I'm 34. Huh? Oh, that's what y'all not too goddamn far behind. Yeah, see, you don't. had stone. They stone juice, but I. You see this? Don't make them cry. No, I'm see just all saying. Don't make them cry. See y'all more than me. Drop me that was finished. Alcohol abuse. Now you just switch cut. Boy, that is so sad. You see him, man. Why you fake boy, fake punk boy, look at that shit! I'm fucking playing! I'm fucking playing! Shit! I'm not playing with him! Play with me! We didn't give the duck ass award! I my coke open yet! Who the fuck gets the duck ass award? Who gets the duck? You can tell somebody. Okay, let me ask you a question. You know how to pronounce the duck award. What is your pet peeve? He gave you the duck award! Paul! He gave you the duck ass award! 
Why, sir? <coughs> why? Elaborate. That drink? <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why. I get a great ass because I finished my cup. You did not. You switched the cup. No, this I'm what he had. Fucking cold this is what he had in his cup. How did I switch the cup not when anything. I still got my shit in here? That shit was yeah. not anything. It was so anything. I didn't drink. I didn't drink my shit. Wow. But that shit yellow. That don't look like no brown. But, but, I so what? Him, but I now you switch your cup. Now you playing musical chess. What the fuck is that? I'm not doing this. You know what like, I'm not doing this. So what? Who, who you know was your what? favorite person that came to that ever bad. came to Sunset Saturday? Since it's, it's, it was oh, there. Oh, 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 what you mean as far as artists? No. Oh, you gonna put me under the bus? Yeah, that's what we do. Because I see you have a lot of people Ooh. come through there now. You do you know? Man. You got a lot of people come through there and do their thing. Do. Who was your favorite? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, what do they do? On the spot like that. Name. <laughs> name. Y'all just trying to make me <laughs> name, sir. Come on. Oh, it's so many artists. Name a name. Though. I, I, I can start naming something for you, and now if I throw a name out there, my forty artists. Huh? I got one, Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If I say Bella, she's gonna she's gonna run with it with the cockiness. If okay, I don't say Bella, Bella. She's gonna say Bella. But so, I do love Bella. I love Bella. I'm a I, I'm. Was well, that a love love? Do we see a love? A real love love? Like a. It's all love. Or that's like it's a. a, a is yeah. that like a homie or a homie love or friend love? Right. Or, or not? Or a love love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Love love. Love love. But anyway, back to the topic. Ain't nothing getting hot. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it ain't these lights. My favorite person is literally look, man. <laughs> Hold up, you know what? You get a double duck award. <laughs> Why she don't get no duck ass awards? Uh -uh, you you know, get a double duck uh -uh. award. Why she don't get no nah. duck ass awards? You look, know what I mean? See, you see, I you heard when she act like a duck. You get, get a duck ass award for not answering the question. He That's what you get. <laughs> Well, well, around, the around the bush. Who's the best award? Around the bush. So look, my yes. favorite, my favorite artist, no, for real, and it's not only because I manage her or work with her or anything. It's Darian Marie is literally my favorite. The reason why is because, like, when I met her, I met her driving in a truck, putting my lineup together for mm -hmm. Sunset Saturdays. No lie, Drew the guitarist was driving. I heard something in my in my ear, and I told him to stop the truck. Drew stopped the truck and then she was on it. She literally was on the corner singing. She was about to go in the buffers for an open mic and she said she was nervous. I found this out after, but she was nervous, trying to get her notes together. I immediately asked her, I said, you sing? But I just knew it was just a beautiful tone. I only heard like a split second of it. And I said, look, what you doing tomorrow? I want you to come and perform for my event. Okay, I need you to do this. Okay, follow me on the ground. Okay, I bought her and literally ever since that day, it's really like she's been a part of our lives, we've been a part of hers. Like I'm fucking up my head, fuck that. That was a beautiful so, story. But brother. now we about to fucking play <laughs> so, couch talk or plead the fifth. Uh, so I plead the money. No, uh, uh, so plead have you uh 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 I got my question first and then Paul gonna have six, seven, eight. You know, uh, cut the shit. shit cause stop Reach it, stop it. So let me see. And then I he gonna give me my Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> let me see. Actual. Let me see. So we never let's talk now. Let's talk now. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. So have you yeah, ever? Saying, boy, yeah. Go ahead. Have that. you ever? Oh, you have to take a shot. Dealt with one of your artists outside of? Yeah, the inquiry minds are like no, so don't well, you see, fucking lie. I couch talk. Don't you fucking oh, lie. Man. Wait. Don't you fucking lie. Y'all set me up. Don't you fucking lie. Y'all set me up. This is Tell what we do. Tell the truth. Do you say a name? Say name again. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm waiting for. Say name. Go ahead. Name. That, name. <laughs> that name never happened in your mind. Never happened, never happened. See, happen. we wasn't even thinking that. We asked yeah, you. We asked you. We, all we, matter of fact, we didn't even ask you for that. We just, I just put emphasis on that. I said, have you ever dealt with one of your artists outside of the industry shit? Right. Duck ass. Yeah. <laughs> Ducky duck. Duck ass. <laughs> so, they're, not, they're not my artists. Oh, so now you cut them off. <laughs> oh, I ain't got a bitch. Oh, I ain't got a bitch. But he ain't bleeding a bitch, so I'm that's, getting something to y'all. That's what you feeling in your heart? How you at, man? So, like, I'm you gonna lie? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna do it for the cam. I'm gonna do it for the cam. Fuck the gram. I'm gonna do it for the cam. I'm gonna do it for the cam. Fuck the gram. 
I did fuck with one of my artists, but it was before they was actually an artist. damn it, we need a bell. <laughs> I love it. We, we win it. We win it. We win it. But no, I, I try to keep it. I try to keep it literally professional. I mean, I'm a male. I mean, if I like a female, I like a female. But I try to keep it professional because I literally want the artists and rhyming to grow. So how many? One and a half. One and a half. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was like, she's a door. She's like, door. Like, so is that something that it was just because it was something was one time or did you double back or did you triple you back on you? I played the fucking fist. Now he played the fist. <laughs> I knew I was going to. Y'all got me. One for me, Paul. Go ahead, Paul. Your question. What's your question, Paul? Yeah, y'all got me drunk and y'all set me up. I'm gonna appreciate this. Y'all got here for my lawyer tomorrow. What? Don't we got fucking paper side talk? Give me another touch. Oh no! Don't don't. That, that, come on now, that, 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 that's hardware. That's hardware. <laughs> <laughs> that's hardware. We about to eat. We gotta get some snacks. That's what I'm saying. You see, you got the snacks and shit. I'm gonna go with the donuts. Oh, oh man. So where can we find you, man? Where can, where can we find you? Y'all can find me, literally. I got this shit mapped out. Y'all can find me Monday nights, Poets on Poets at Cafe Instable. It starts at 10 p.m., goes to about 2 or 3 or whenever we feel like stop by, man. Y'all wanna see kings and queens with live instruments, Tracks. Is there an um, entry fee? No entry fee. It's poets. So there's no reason for nobody to do it. It's for the free. Singers, for the, rappers. For the free. You can plug in your music. You can go with the with the live music. You can do whatever you want. You can dance. We got five dollar drinks that we do. It's really for the culture. Five dollar drinks. So I could come get fucked up. Right. No, Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. That's Monday. So, so like on, on, on Instagram though, like what's your what's your handle? Oh, if y'all wanna follow me on Instagram, look, J Styles, you hear me? It's 504 Pretty Thug. You know? That's what it is. Y'all wanna hear me? And, 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 yeah, and, and, and he's a twin. He's a twin. You're a twin, right? Hey, bro, you just exposing me. I'm not just saying. I just thought about that. And I said, man, they got two of you walking around. What if I wanted to act like I was in two places at one time? You You're not true yeah. face, sir. So, like I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Also, every other Thursday at Cafe Instable, we do chakra zones and of course, so lit. So I like that name, chakra. Y'all, y'all basically follow me on the ground. A Y M. It's not. A Y O J A Y Y six nine. Y'all follow me on the ground. Yeah, and also His we're gonna name have Kaus Talk. Yeah, six oh, nine. Yes. We're gonna have Kaus Talk Nola. They're gonna be co-hosting. So this Saturday is on oh, November second, yeah. five to nine at oh, Bar Culture. Shit. Oh, oh shit! Before we go out, you yeah, have any merchandise? We the game. Oh. Plan on seven. So look, we about to come out. I'm not releasing any details about the shirt because I'm protecting myself and my brand. But we will have so late Saturdays sh- t-shirts on the way. And so with that being said, episode 23. Sweat pouring down my face like it's a co-creation. Ice bath, I dive under my thoughts aching. I grab a lighter for the heat, add a blunt to start a fight to my craving. So my determination isn't wasted. If you want to be done, then just say it. My time I really wasted. So if I'm not your craving, then find your sensation. Can seem to get me to that point of stimulation. Frustrated fuss and conversation leads to desperation. Lusting to find mental satisfaction. So close I could taste it, but often end with nice to being wasted. Your definition of a night out is getting complacent. And you not taking necessary steps in order to change it. Used to wish that I was living right. I used to wish my biological didn't hit the